Hello there, my name is Aaron and I like to build things out of old toys and model kits. Now traditionally Halloween builds have always been a tricky one for me but this year I think I've found the answer. I'm going to build a graveyard spaceship inspired after watching Michael Mann's first film called The Keep. It's not very good but it's his first film so we'll let him off. In the film a group of soldiers unleash evil that has been kept suppressed by a huge castle. Now for my build, I'm replacing evil with super glue and plastic, a nerf gun to be precise, so you know what that means. Let's start scratching that build. I proceed by taking off all the raised lettering using a nail file I found in the other half's cupboard. Don't worry, I'll put it back when I'm done. I soon realised the nail file wasn't cutting the mustard, so I used my own nail file and brought out the rotary tool. I've still yet to pick a name for this and hopefully by the next video it will have one and if you want to leave a suggestion of, of a name leave it in the comments. Once all the branding was taken off I glued it back together. I should have used the screws but I'd placed them in such a safe place that I'd actually forgotten where I'd put them. I'm going to need some styrene or plastic card to fill in the various gaps on the toy, so I take the next two hours, condense cleverly into mere seconds with video editing, to save your soul and sanity. Having made templates from the plastic card, I then just went around the toy and just covered up any gaps or bits of lettering that I couldn't get rid of. It also doesn't take a rocket scientist to notice I have a huge gap in the toy that needs filling. So I went to the kitchen and found a spice container that, with a little cosmetic surgery, would plug that hole just nicely. For those wondering what I did with the herbs from the container, well I made a spaghetti bolognese that was a little too herby for my taste. Not that I could taste anything because if you haven't noticed already, my voice sounds slightly strange and that's because I have man flu, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, my throat is killing me. So that's why uh, I'm talking strangely. Well, not strange, well, okay, strangely. I realized the back end of the ship still needed uh, some length, hello ladies, so added the slide back onto the toy. I used electrical wire from an old extension lead to fill in the gaps. Um, the idea here was I wanted it to look like veins or something sort of mysterious that you'll see in the final shot. Then I just opened up one of my many uh, kit bashing uh, greebly boxes and just picked out various bits of plastic that I could start sticking to the actual spaceship. To stop the uh, model from rocking while I was working on it, I fashioned up a little dry dock using some uh, EVA foam tiles. And then I just started cutting away at the uh, plastic model kits, mainly using uh, the wings from different uh, fighter planes, Airfix, Tamiya, all that sort of stuff. Um, if any of those companies want to send me a shitload of uh, goodies so I can use in future kit bashing, no, no, that's, that's stupid. They don't even watch this channel. Um, yeah, so what I did was I just started uh, filling out all the details with uh, various model kits. Then I found this plastic skeleton I've had for a few years now and it's been lying in the bottom of my bit box and I thought it would be a fun uh, idea to try and incorporate it into the build. So I did a Dr. Fibes on it and cut him down and uh, stuck him to the spaceship. Because I don't plan anything, I had to fit the skull and ribs here uh, and the spine above the skull. It looks kooky, but this is an alien slash ghost spaceship, so anything goes in with this world. While I add more plastic card, I'm going to give some shout outs to subscribers who have left funny comments. And if you want to shout out, all you have to do is subscribe, leave a comment and like, and you never know, your name might appear in my next video. I've also started a members page where for two euros a month you can help support the channel. It will go to the kit bash funding. Now you can get to see the videos a full 24 hours before Sunday release. More perks are to be added once I work it all out. And I also know it's not for everyone and I'm cool with that as long as you just hit that like button, share button and leave a comment. That's 
them three are more important than anything else. So if you can, you can. If you can't, no problem. Just keep hitting them other three buttons. I totally forgot I had these red and gravestones uh, in my bit box for years and I thought it would be fun to add them to the ship. So I did. I also found this that I've never bothered with because my eyesight and painting skills are terrible. To save my embarrassments, I'll just use the cage. But before I do the next bit, if you want to leave a comment, um, you put this code word at the start of your comment uh, so I know you got here before skipping to the glamour shots. And to quote the side-eyed guy who's on YouTube, the code word is... La Grim Reaper. Please also like and subscribe. Thank you. I have some poker chips I want to add to the spaceship as I'm planning on building the hover ship from the Matrix uh, soonish. Uh, so this is going to be a test run uh, just to see if it would work. I'd love pr to pronounce the name of the ship, but um, I'm not that brave today. I'm going to add some of this armature wire just to the build, just to make it look like some pipes. I'm just going to leave it there just to, uh, you know, give it some visual interest as we say. And then I found some skulls that had been long forgotten. This is a, an episode where I'm just clearing out the clutter from my bins, really. Um, they're going on the build. So it looks like I've got enough shizzle on this uh, ship now to... Uh, Get it on the turntable, everything is there, so uh, I'm going to spinny spin this and I'm going to prime it grey, simply because I'd run out of black. But then I realised I have black in my airbrush, which I'm going to spray now. I think I've used this paint once before, it's the colour changing paint and it's, uh, it's got a green sort of metallic tint to it. So uh, that's the reason why I had to paint it black, because it doesn't react unless it's on a black surface. I hope you can see, because um, the, the lights in the, uh, in the shed, the garage, um, work, workshop, uh, workplace, um, isn't, I don't know if it's showing up properly or not, but uh, it looks green to me. Let's have a quick Michael Bay dramatic shot zoom in. There we go. Um, oh yeah, you can see. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going to try and highlight um, the gravestones and the skulls and just the edges of the spaceship. I best not forget the skull and uh, other bits of bones. And then to tone down the white, I used uh, some uh, rust wash. Just went over all the uh, white bits. A bit like when the other half's putting on the fake tan. She's putting, you know, bronzer on the white bits said too much. If there isn't another video after this video, that means that the other half uh, has taken offence to that last comment and I am um, deceased. Um, hopefully not. Hopefully I will be back. So for the finishing touches, all I used was some pigment powder just to give it some uh, rusty streaks and it's onto the glamour shots. Thanks very much for stopping by. I appreciate all your support. Keep scratching that build, everybody. Thanks for watching.
Grim Reaper. Grim Reaper Apocalypse. Grim Reaper.